And since I've got five minutes, I would like to utilize it. Dr. William Campbell gave a reply to Nuh alayhi salam. I'm a person who is a concordist approach with the Bible and conflict approach with the Quran, because both ways, alhamdulillah, Quran will pass the test. And even if I agree with Dr. William Campbell, and I agree with him, it is right, that it was 15 feet above the highest mountain. But it's mentioned in Genesis, chapter number 7, verse number 19 and 20, that the full world was submerged under water. And furthermore, archaeological evidence shows us today, and the time of Noah's time, if you calculate by genealogy, it comes to in the 21st to 22nd century BC. Archaeological evidence shows us today that the third dynasty of Babylon and 11th dynasty of Egypt were present at the 21st and 22nd century BC, and there was no evidence of flood, and they remain uninterrupted. Therefore, archaeological evidence shows us that it's impossible that the earth was submerged, the full earth was submerged under water in the 21st, 22nd century BC. What about the Quran? What about the Quran? Point number one, Quran does not give a date, but the 21st century BC or 50th century BC, no date. Point number two, nowhere does the Quran say the full world was submerged under water. It speaks about Nuh alayhi salam and his calm and his people. A small group of people or maybe a large group of people, archaeological evidences tell today, and the archaeologists they say that we have no objection, it's possible that parts of the world were submerged under water. But full world, it's not possible. So alhamdulillah, the Quran is matching with the latest discovery in archaeology, but the Bible does not. Furthermore, if you read Genesis chapter number 6, verse number 15, 16, it speaks about Almighty God telling Noah salam that build an ark and it gives the length. 300 cubit in length, 50 cubit in breadth, and height 30 cubit. Cubit is one and a half feet. The brother made a mistake. It's one and a half feet. And in New International Version, it says 450 feet in length and 75 feet in breadth and approximately 45 feet in height. It's 30 cubit in height. If you measure this, I've done the calculation, it comes to less than 150,000 cubic feet in volume. And area-wise, 33,750. And the Bible says there were three flows. Ground floor, first story, second story. So multiply by three, you get an answer of 101,250 square feet. That is the area. Imagine, a pair of all the species of the world was accommodated in 101,250 square feet. Imagine. Is it possible? Millions of species are there in the world. If I tell in this auditorium, one million people came in this auditorium. Will you believe? I remember, I think last year, I'd given a talk in Kerala, and there were one million people. That's the biggest gathering I've addressed, alhamdulillah, by Allah's grace. One million people, I could not see the end. It was not an auditorium, it was a big beach. I couldn't see anyone. Only few people in the front, that's all. Few compared to the one million people that were there. If you see on the video, you'll realize how big is one million. Somewhat like Arafat, you see two and a half million people in Arafat. In an area of 101,250 square feet, or 150,000 cubic feet, it is impossible. And above that, they stayed for 40 days, eating, going for call of nature, if I say one million people came into the outdoor, will you believe? So scientifically, there are several things in which there are gross scientific errors in the Bible.